Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to change the display order of a ggplot2 legend in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio and if we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code and now we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. So if we want to draw a basic ggplot2 plot with a default legend specifications then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of our studio, a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can also draw this plot to our studio by running line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, a new plot appears. And at the right side of this plot, you can also see that a legend appears. And as you can see, this legend is ordered alphabetically. So the first legend element is the legend element A, the second legend element is the element B, and so on. So let's assume that we want to change the display order of this legend. Then we have to modify our input data frame. And uh, for this, I'm first going to replicate my original data frame. So I'm storing the original data frame data in a new data frame object, which is called data new. So after running line 13 of the code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right, which is called data new. And then I'm modifying the grouping variable of our data frame by using the factor function. So within the factor function, I'm first specifying the name of our factor variable. So in this case, our factor variable or our grouping variable is called group. And then I'm using the levels argument to specify the order of our factor levels. So in this case, I'm specifying the factor level B at the first position, the factor level D at the second position and so on. So if you run these lines of code, your data will be updated. And afterwards, we can basically run the same code as before, but this time we are using our new data frame that we have updated. So if you run lines 18 and 19 of the code, another plot object is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp new. And if we draw this plot to RStudio, you can see that our display order of the legend on the right side of our plot was changed so that the legend element B is at the first position and the legend element D is at the second position and so on. So in this video you have learned how to change the display order of a ggplot legend in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.